Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm basically going away for a few days, so I've got a little bit of packing to, to do. I've mainly done most of it, but I would like to do the rest with you. It's only a few little bits that I'm going to put in. We're basically going away for a few days to Margate. We're basically staying in this really nice cabin with a hot tub. So yes, we decided to do that. I've done most of my packing but I've got a few other things to add and some things into my bag. So I'm going to share this with you. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what else I've got to put in. This is basically what I've put in already. So I've got some towels, t-shirts, some jeans, some underwear. Can't really see anything else that's in there, but I'm gonna put some socks in here. So there's some socks. I don't f I feel that I'll be able to put much more in here. But yeah, so I've got my swimming costume. So I'm just gonna like put that in. And these are the bottom. So I'm gonna try and stuff them in somewhere. And then David's got his trout, these swimming shorts. I've got a pair of jeans. I don't know how I'm I'm gonna have to sit on this. And we're gonna take our slippers as well. So try and stuff those um i might have to put these ones somewhere else i don't know where but i'm sure i'll find a place right so i managed to get it closed i didn't have to sit on it after all but yeah everything's in there so now i'm going to bring you to here so basically this is everything i'm putting in my bag so let's get this so i'm going to take my camera with me as you know that I'm doing photography, so I'm going to take that just in case I can take some really nice pictures. So let's put that in there. But doing this one hand is very difficult. Because <laughs> I'm currently holding my tripod because I've got nowhere to put it. And then I've got my purse. And then I've got my power bank just in case I need it and it's got this little wire with it also I've got my kindle so that can go in there and then I'm also currently reading this book so it's my roommate is a vampire so I'm already like halfway through so that can go in there I'm also taking this with me as you know some of you may know that I have got a couple of disability, so this might become useful. There we go. It's all in there some way. <laughs> so yeah, some Vaseline. You just never know when you're going to need that. I've also got my headphones. They're currently still got the wiring because I had them on charge. So let's take that out. So I've got some wires, my phone charger, my Kindle, and a plug just in case can't go anywhere without that so yeah that is basically it of all my packing so i am hoping to do a bit of a vlog while we're out in margate i've been there quite a few times um but dave has never been and so yeah and we haven't actually made any plans as of yet but apparently there's some like caves there we could visit there's also dreamland which i remember going to as a young child so we might go and explore that. I think it's mainly aimed at kids, but we might try. You, know, you never know what's there. So that is it. So I shall see you later. <laughs>
Bella's looking at me very weirdly. She thinks I'm a weirdo recording myself. But yeah, we're based on the train on the way to Margate. On the way here, we went to Greg's. And we're gonna have some nice, tasty donuts. So yeah, David's about to open them. And I bought this drink. Sparkly mango and pineapple. Not Is that a tasty donut, David? Yeah. Is it tasty? Mm. Yeah, I'll take that as a nice. Yummy donut. I just want to show you out in the garden first before I show you inside so I'm going to turn you around so the first thing you can see this is our hot tub which we are looking forward to going to there's also a little table we can sit on if the weather's nice but yeah this is basically our garden which is a really nice garden and it's really big as well and this is our cabin basically it looks really small for me outside but it's actually quite big inside but yeah, I'm going to show you inside. I'm going to currently throw David out because he doesn't want to be on camera. But yeah, so we might sit out here a little bit later. But yeah, I am definitely looking forward to going in the hot tub later. So yeah. I'm going to go in through the door. Basically, as you come in, this is our bedroom. So yeah, it's a decent size, it's really nice, so really nice bedding. And as you come in this room, it's really spacious. So here we've actually got a log burner, which we're not going to use because it's, it's actually quite warm. And we've got a TV, there's another door here, a sofa, there's also this book with lots of information in, so we'd have to have a read of that. As you can see, we've unpacked some stuff already. This is just basically some games that we bought. So we've got Cards Against Disney. We've got Munchkin Marvel. And we also bought Deep Sea Adventure, as David's already made a mess. Fridge. And then in here is the bathroom. And how amazing is this shower? Like, how cool. I'm definitely look, looking forward to trying the shower. It just looks so cool. Like, and I think, it just, I think it's got lights as well. So that'll be interesting. We've basically already been to Tesco's to get some stuff. So we've got some ice creams. That ice is already in there. And we bought some dinner for this evening and maybe one other night and we'll probably go out for a meal at some point. And then we just bought some other snacks and some fruit as we might take some lunch out with us. Put some yummy cheesecakes and some yogurts, some skinny fries, 
and this is basically like the kitchen area so as you can see we've got all the stuff that we need like for cleaning and these are the like basically the snacks that we bought so we bought some crisps bought some cereal we bought some sweets bought some popcorn chocolate obviously we also bought some french fancies we've already munched on these but we've got some granola slices some bread to make some sandwiches and of course some mini eggs and basically we've got everything here so there's a microwave under there and a little oven and then we can also cook something up there but yeah that is basically it it is a really nice cabin like i'm looking forward to like staying here for a few days we're only here to like thursday but yeah i'm like this place is literally amazing like i'm looking forward to staying here for a few days my hair is a mess i should have brushed it before doing this video but i will it's a long journey it's been very windy but we finally made it and we're looking forward to staying here we're not sure what we're going to do yet because we haven't actually planned anything but we're going to look through the book to see what's been recommended um apparently there's this shell cave thing that you can go to if there's a couple of museums you might try at dreamland as i said earlier and go to a few nice few places that have also been mentioned but yeah it's really nice here so if you do want to stay here i'd get booked in soon because i was looking earlier and it's already fully booked up until like july and apparently it's a ref find and the owners of this cabin are called alex and becky and they're really nice so if you do want to stay here i suggest get in contact with them i also put their details down below so but yeah this is the cabin that we stayed in for a few days but yeah i should kind of let david in because he's currently outside in the cold but yeah i'll see you soon bye bye we're about to have some dinner we're having the roasted butternut squash no is it butternut squash probably, probably. <laughs> and tomato gnocchi david is, I'm not recording you, Doro. Is currently trying to figure out how to use the oven. <laughs> Can you put this in the oven, please? Okay. <laughs> Stop laughing. And with the gnocchi, <laughs> we're going to have the Some garlic <laughs> rosemary flatbread. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, so it does not look uh, nice. It doesn't really look that nice. It doesn't smell very nice, but I hope it will taste better than what it smells. But yeah, so we're having this for dinner and then we'll probably go out into the town for a bit and explore. Maybe hit some arcades or something. How does that sound, David? Meh. Yeah. Yeah. So under here is some placemats. So let's put those out. So let's put one there and then David can sit here. Oh la la. I need to sort some plates out. Here they are. Let's move these out the way. Very noisy. One plate for me. One plate for David. Here's the gnocchi and the... What's it called again? Garlic, Garlic bread. bread. I forgot what it was called then. So yeah, I'm going to serve some gnocchi. Can you hold the camera for a minute? One minute. <laughs> Or can you put some on my plate for me? Put some on my plate. I can't do it with my left hand, so David's kindly putting some on my plate for me. Please, sir, may I have some more? No. <laughs> Thanks. So, let's do a taste test to see if it tastes nicer than where it looks but it's very hot David is now going to give himself some should we let you taste it first 
No, why not? Okay. It doesn't actually smell too bad. So it's a bit hot, so, but it looks quite nice. Hmm. Not bad. Have you had Nokia before? Of course I've had Nokia before. <laughs> okay. I like Nokia. But yeah, so I'm going to finish this and I'll see you later. I'm currently in the arcades, but it's very noisy. It's very noisy. But yeah, see if I'm going to hear anything I'm saying. Just trying to show you around. What should we try? So we're in the arcades and it's very noisy. You want to try? It's one part to play. Can I record you doing this? I record like you just your bottom, like you hitting them, but not your just face. Just your bottom half. So David is about to play the Batman game. I don't know what you call this. What do you call this? Whack the Batman. Whatever it's called.
so we're basically back in the cabin because we walked basically to Margate and <laughs> there wasn't much to do there and there was only one arcade place open so we walked a little bit longer and now we're back and we've decided that we're just going to stay indoors and play some games even one of the games that we bought or some there is actually some games over here there's some games over here so we might even play one of those we'll see what david wants to play or we may watch some tv but yeah we're just going to chill indoors now and stay in the warm hi everyone i'm currently at the cabin we just got back from visiting the town and the old town there wasn't a lot there and a lot of places were closed and we did actually want to go to dreamland but we've come during the wrong time so um, a lot of places are closed but we did go for a nice walk and we bought a couple of bits we looked in front of the charity shops we looked in the works we also what else did we go to i think that was mainly it and just had a walk through looked at different things took a couple of pictures but i just basically want to show you what i got i'm in a really awkward angle but yeah, so we picked up some games. So we've got, these are David's, not mine. One's called Starship Trooper. And this was from that game shop CEX or whatever it's called. And then I picked this one up, which is basically called The Emerald Maiden Sympathy of Dreams. And then we also picked up this game called fight box again david's not mine and then that is it from the game shop we also picked up some books so we picked up these three books from the heart foundation and it was three for one pound so this is david's called lacuna the lacuna don't know what it's about he also picked up Hannibal Rising and then I picked up this book called Freckles by Cecilia Ahern, one of my favourite authors. I've read some of her books already. I also picked up this doggy puzzle uh, with like basic loads of different dogs on. So yeah, we've got a, oh, my mind's gone blank, a little board collie. Some, well, I think they're Westies, but yeah, so for £2, so 500 pieces. And then we also picked up, I also picked up some fudge for my mum to say thank you for looking after the pets. I also picked up some pink and white nugget for my dad. I also picked up a ice cream keyring with Margate on it. I've got a box at home with a box full of keyrings basically that I collect from all different places. Also picked up Nutty Crunch from my brother. We found these really cool old bookshops so we bought a couple books from there. So I picked up, what did I do with them? Yeah. So David picked up this one which is the Miss Measure of Man. And then I picked up these two cooking books. So eating Italian, so loads of different Italian food in there. Which I is my favorite kind of food, so I bought this. And then we also got this one, because it has some really nice recipes in here. And it's called Grandma's Recipes. So that is basically all we got, I think. Oh, and David also picked up this game from the works for a pound called cribbage not a clue what sort of game it is from according to this it looks like a card game but yeah we'll probably play that later we never so last night we never actually ended up going into the hot tub because we was both very tired from our long journey but we're looking forward to going in it tonight playing some board games and enjoying our night in but that is basically it for today i don't think we'll do anything else as it's quite windy my hair looks a complete mess 
But yeah, that is basically it. Until tomorrow, where we'll be going to the Shell Grotto, hopefully, and what else is around there. I think there might be some bowling around there, so you might do a bit of bowling. But that is it. But I will do some vlogging when we go to that. But yes, I shall see you tomorrow. What's this game called? Cribbage. Yeah. Okay, so pick two cards to put into the crib. Any two cards. You gonna sit? Sit, oh good girl. No, you don't want that one. I only want the nice treats. You only want the... Tuta! <gasps> you're such a beautiful doggy. Do you want it? No? Uh, she wants Haribo. No, you're not allowed Haribo. Is Haribo? Tuta, come. Do you high five? Oh, good girl. You're a good girl, aren't you? You don't want the treat? You don't want this? No. <laughs> oh, what's that? Can you hear lots of noises? Oh. Can you smell a doggy? We haven't got our doggy with us. Treats for you, you spat it out. Do you not like them treats? Oh, you're tired. Can I have paw? Oh, good girl. She's such a beautiful dog though, isn't she? Yeah. Tuta! Do you hear the seagulls? Hey everyone, I'm just currently getting ready. So today we are going to the Shell Grotto, so that should be fun. And I'm also meeting up with a friend who I've known for quite a while now. She's basically a friend of my brother's friend who he went to school with. So basically, yeah, so we organised, said that a bit funny. We've organised to go out for lunch, so that should be nice. I'm not exactly sure what we're all going to do for the rest of our day, but I'm sure we'll come up with something. And basically last night we ended up going into the hot tub and it was amazing. Nice and warm, nice and cosy. But yeah, I said to David that I want to get a hot tub for our garden. But unfortunately our garden's not big enough. And I know you can get those inflatable ones. But no I mean I anymore so I'll probably pop it. Because I've already popped a paddling pool that we had to throw away. And with the kitten, I don't think that's a good idea. But yeah, so hopefully my storage on my phone won't run out. So I can do some recordings today and take some pictures of the shell grotto. My voice sounds a bit funny. I've, just, I've not long been up. So, but yeah, but I shall see you later. Right, Ruiz, so we're in the shell grotto. This is so cool. It's like a maze, isn't it? So I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see where we're walking. So this is the shell grotto. You've just walked around in a circle, David. It's really echoey. So this is where we're coming from. But yeah, these walls are made out of shells.
how amazing is this? It's very cold in here. Ooh, what's this? Are these the people that created it? No. Who are these people? The Huh? The Ah. Uh. This is so cool. So if you want to come here, it's basically only like nine pound for two people. So that's really good. But yeah, it's really cool. He's like a child and he, he's finding these shells and putting them as fingernails. How childish. But yeah, we're by the sea. Walking along the sand. But yeah, it's quite warm as well, actually. You just love the sound of the ocean, of the sea. Don't you just love the sound of the sea? Walking a bit too close here, so I'm going to end up getting wet feet if I don't move towards the left a little. Dave is currently walking behind me. But how beautiful is this? So we've basically got some time to spare because we was only in the shell grotto for like 10-15 minutes. So what we decided we're going to do, we're going to go into the Brewers' Fair, maybe have a cold drink and meet my friend later. So that should be good. But yeah, just having a walk by the sea. But I'll see you later. So everyone, today has been a really good day. We had a walk along the beach, went to the Shell Grotto. And we also met up some friends who were a friend of my brother's when they were really little so my brother's friends basically known me since I was a baby and then we saw her mum and it was really nice to see her and then we went also went for lunch in this really nice cafe and then later on in the day we went back to my friend's house saw her beautiful kitties and then me and David decided to go for dinner and that is basically it so now we're just going to chill out, stay indoors tonight and watch some movies, maybe watch some TV. Not quite sure yet. We've got some packing to do because we're going home tomorrow, which I'm looking forward to because I want my own bed. Although this bed is very comfortable and it's been a really good few days. The cabin is really nice. 
So we'll definitely be coming back here once there's availability. I'm walking around the bedroom at the moment recording this video. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing my dog and my two kitties. So yeah, and talking of dogs, my friend drew this lovely picture of my old dog Roxy, who he lost a couple years back. So I will show you that now. I just need to go and get it. So this is basically the picture. How amazing is that? My brother's friend drew this. A couple of years ago, my mum basically asked, oh, can you draw a picture of Roxy? Because she was really good at drawing. So she got this picture from Facebook and drew it for us. But that is so nice. My mum's going to absolutely love this. She's already seen it through like the pic like through video call. But yeah, that's so good. So we'll have to frame it and put it up on a wall somewhere. But yeah, that's so cool. But anyway, I'm going to go. But I shall see you tomorrow. And yeah, on our way home tomorrow. But yeah. Hi everyone. It's our last day. Well, it's not actually our last day. We're going home today. We're just waiting to leave because our train isn't until half ten. She didn't want to book an early one. It's not that. I just want to chill for a bit, enjoy the sunshine. And the fresh air. Are you looking forward to going home, David? Mm. I'll take that as a yes. Are you not, are you not looking forward to seeing Holly and the cats? You're a cat. <laughs> Meow. But yeah, so we get to go home and see Holly, my mum, and our cats. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to going home. But also, sad because it's really nice here. But hopefully we'll be back soon. But yeah. So that is pretty much the end of this video. But yeah, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and come back again soon. So bye.